the Middle East in the back rooms. Hey, I know that thumbnail. I, I, yeah, I remember this thumbnail. Okay, what? Wait, what's going? On? Oh, they're building the back rooms. Pakistan has, I think, India, uh, just like up against the wall. Also, who is? Who is that that's like, oh, uh, Jordan is counting the days until they can finally escape? I guess, huh? <laughs> let's just, let's just leave Jordan to them, to themselves. Uh, a little, okay. Let's just, okay, Saudi Arabia, uh, they're, they're fighting. They're, okay, better call Saul. Uh, there's Iran. On September. Haram, don't go there, don't, don't go the Haram way. Oh. <laughs> Lebanon? No, prohibited. Oh, we made it. This is absolutely insanity. It's the Mamluks! Hey, the Mam I'm glad the Mamluks are back. One of my favorite flags ever. And when you turn your head a little bit, they kind of look a little sussy. Oh boy, uh, I think Iran and Saudi Arabia have unlocked the- Estonia? What are you doing here, Estonia? You Clearly, the back free rooms is free Robux. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess that's all you had to do. Is that Turkey? Give me my cockroach. Yes. Uh, Tur- okay. Oh! oh. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, uh, yes. Exit, please. Epic prank. Well, you got 40 seconds, so it's probably gonna be fine. That is horrifying. Sweden! There are some balls here that I didn't expect to be here. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. This is the most horrifying backrooms experience I've ever been in. <laughs> Easily. I'm tired of all these other, uh, okay, that's Yemen, but, uh, the Reich Tangle has come out because I'm thinking the, the similarities between the Yemen and Imperial German flag. Oil? Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. Don't, okay, there's the evergreen that got stuck in the, uh, the Suez Canal, that's Egypt right there. Uh, we're not gonna be able to take the ice cream from Turkey because this is a certified hood classic. Uh, uh Syria, uh, Qatar, this is, the, this, that is an amazing video. Thank you, I really needed that in my life. Wait, give the man who wrote the subtitles gold medal, please. Subtitles? Oh, I, uh, okay, I... Yes, that man deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> <laughs> that video was by Ace Animations. I've been subscribed for a while. You should do Meet the East. Uh, the East Asia by Ikari uh, Ball. Of course, South Korea is uh, working because that's just what they, that's what they do. They do a lot of work. I'm surprised that Japan, Japan is not there either. North Korea looking over their wall, seeing that uh, they have nothing else to do but, um, oh. Okay, yeah, it's not really going quite as well. Meanwhile, in Laos, <laughs> please <laughs> don't. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, Laos still has a lot of boom booms. Uh, we have Thailand. Uh, Thailand. I I don't really know what's going on. Indonesia, of course, island hopping, trying to stay away from the Komodo dragons. I used to love Komodo dragons as a kid. Fascinated by them. Uh, Vietnam, doing Vietnam things. Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> These are so small references. I love it. You wouldn't be able to know otherwise. Just trust me when I say do not go back in time to Cambodia during the 1970s. Meanwhile, in Ch China, as they're making happy uh, duck up. Uh, okay, yeah, they're, they're also doing bad things in the east part of China. Uh, another coup here in uh, Myanmar. Kind of awkward. Oh, is he just going to go back to bed? It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a normal, normal day. Oh man, Mr. Incredible gets more and more uncanny for Myanmar. The Philippines having a blast. The Philippines is the single country on social media more than anyone else. I mean, they spend like on average four hours a day on social media, apparently. I just got that information recently. Oh, and now there's a flood. Maybe that's why, because the weather is uh, pretty insane. Malaysia uh, with, oh, nice. Nice Singapore hat, nice Brunei hat, nice scary uh, spider hat. Who is this? Oh, a China fighting. Okay, there's a Hong Kong anime style battle as Hong Kong tries their best to resist China. Uh, Taiwan is Taiwan is just flooded with US China organized an event. They're just, uh, yeah, flooded with US military weapons. And uh, who's this last one? Is this Japan? Yeah. It's gotta be, right? Oh. 
Okay, yeah, Japan's working a little bit too hard. Again, that video was by Ikurai Ball. I've been subscribed for a while. Please go do as well. He's making literal works of art. The Treasure of Tarapaka by, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right, by 3D Country Balls. Here it is. This is about South America and apparently a treasure. Here we have Bolivia and Peru. So, let's start digging. Will they find something? I have a feeling uh, Chile is going to pop up in this video. There is the treasure. Is this a bunch of Spanish and or Incan gold that was found? Found it? Uh-oh. They clearly awoken something that they might not be prepared for. Uh, I thought there would be at least gold. Oh, no. It's the opposite. Um, Bolivia? Huh? Oh my goodness, that is the last country ball you want to awaken from a slumber because, wow, that got actually really graphic. I wasn't expecting that. Chile said no. So this is actually a region inside of Chile. Maybe that's why they kind of popped up. Looks like Chile Worm is about to pop out of the ground at any moment here. And I'm assuming that's why Bolivia and Peru were involved because this is the northernmost region of the country. Peru and Bolivia, finally friends. Again, that video is by 3D Country Ball Animations. The history of Antarctica explained by country balls. So that is a very early old Spain, um, which is surprising. Did Spain try to claim Antarctica first? I did not know that. It was them first all the way back in the 16th century. That's crazy. But wait a second. There's a new member. We have Russia and they are much more uh, used to the whole ice thing, but they did disappear. So if we're starting all the way back in time during that time period, then we have a lot of history to go through, even for this continent that no one talks about. Spain has a little bit of a flag upgrade here. Uh, they changed their modern day flag. Now it's Chile and Argentina for sure. So we definitely are in the 1800s because we have an independent in Chile and Argentina. Now there's gonna be a bunch of other places that join. I know that Antarctica is split between, what is it, like seven or eight different countries? None of this stuff is official though. I mean, we all don't really know who has this. We have the British now joining the battle. Uh, then New Zealand, because New Zealand is actually very close to Antarctica. Uh, then there's the French, just a tad bit. Are they gonna leave though? Uh, no, I guess not. The British have, is the British gonna claim? I know what the Antarctica borders look like. Oh, that's Australia. Australia has a bunch of this. There it is. It looks more like a clock or like a pizza is getting divided up for the closest. And then we have, is that a Nono Germany? Uh, a Nono Germany and a Norway. Of course, the Nono Germans were kicked out of there. And this might or might not be what we have right now, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely not. The Nono Germans did, in fact, have a secret base down here in the southernmost continent, which is pretty strange. Or maybe this is the current situation that we have for this continent. I didn't realize there was a bunch of, like, undeclaimed territory. Why doesn't the U.S. want this? Don't they want everything? Countries scaled by time zones by PWA. We're scaling by time zones? That's easy for me. I've only got one, says China. How do you only have one time zone? You're such a big country. Yeah, uh, time zones are very, um, subjective, I guess. Some people just don't do time zones. New Zealand says over 35 times bigger than themselves. I've previously had five time zones, but since 1949, I've only had one. For national unity, of course. Yeah, some people decide to do that. Uh-huh. Well, I've got five. New Zealand has five time zones? But New Zealand, you're so small. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. Actually, besides my two main islands, I had over 600 islands spanning five time zones. Yeah, the Pacific gets really messy over there. I've got six, says Canada. Canada's the second biggest country on Earth, so I'm not really surprised about that. Makes sense, bro. You're wide. You're wide as. Uh, ow, mate. Uh, did I say that out loud? Should we rank by obesity rates again, then? I told you I was laying off the fish and chips. Oh, does... Is New, Le New Zealand kind of chubby? I didn't know that New Zealand was a little bit chubby. Uh, the UK is, of course, going to have a lot, and so is France. I'm actually surprised that the UK doesn't have more because they have territories still all around the world, but that doesn't matter if it's all around the world. That still only matters, like, there's only one time zone. Uh, yes. So, the British... Indi yeah, they have between Tanzania and Indonesia. Australia apparently has a lot. What? So does the U.S. Does any of those people... Yeah, uh, only geography I need to know is where the flag of the red, white, and blue is. Yes. Like, France? <laughs> oh, awkward. France is number one. I can see that. I've got 8,000 islands uh, and McDonald's Island, or as I like to call it, Maca's, Maca's Islands. I forgot Australia calls McDonald's something else. I probably didn't even pronounce it right. I wonder why it's a long story. Starts with I and ends with lost. Anyways, I have 11 time zones. There's still a lot of places we have in the Pacific under U.S. control. 
course, we have Puerto Rico, too, in the other side. I have 11. Of course, Russia is the biggest country on Earth, bigger than the entire planet or the dwarf planet of Pluto. So Russia, I knew it was going to be high, but uh, yes, France has islands. They have French Guyana in South America. Too many. I have an idea. How about all of us countries implement one time zone policy? Uh, I don't think that's going to work. I knew France would have a lot, but I didn't know they were significantly bigger than the UK. With its overseas territories, France uses 12 different time zones, including their claim on Antarctica. Absolutely insane that France still very much has a colonial empire in a way, just because of all the islands they control around the world. It's, it's a lot more than Britain. I knew Britain had this, but maybe just not as much. It's definitely not quite as much in the Pacific, and that makes the big difference because that ocean is huge. That video was by PWA. Please go subscribe. Lay Austrian Painter has arrived. This is by Scorpo. It's very close to a million subscribers. Please help get him there. Vienna Academy of Fine uh, Farts. So we have basically a, yeah, we have the history of a skinny mustache man, but he's doge. So he's going to go to jail and he's going to write a pretty bad book uh, while he's in jail. He's going to come out and he's going to begin to... Uh, yeah, speak. Allies, uh, wait, does that say allies bad? Allies bad, axe is good. Yes, that's right. Wait, is that Japan? That's Japan, and this is a Benito Mussolini. Okay, that's, that's exactly what I imagined them as. <laughs> okay, we have the Berlin Pact. There's gonna be <laughs> so many small, I'm gonna have to pause the video live. Axis members only, Stalin, you're not allowed. Scary if he was allowed, though. The Soviet Union was big. They would get a non-aggression pack, and here it is. So that is the ribbon trough Molotov pack. Uh, that was going to be broken by Germany, and now, okay, so the reference to the dancing, uh, cow, that is a Polish meme, Poland's done. So that is literally Poland getting invaded by, on both sides, by, of course, the Nona Germans, the Nona Germans from the left, and the Soviets from the right, and also the winged hussars are screaming here in the middle. Maginot Line, you can't pass that! And then it gets passed because they go around. Uh, that was a small reference to Dunkirk, I think. Interesting no-no German symbols there. Yeah, so this is the Brits leaving back across the English Channel because they just got pushed out. And then we have the no-no doges, I guess I should say, in France by the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, here's some air warfare, the bombing of London basically taking place. Uh, <laughs> so this is when Britain stood alone, quote-unquote. And they are uh, going to get blown up quite a bit until the Germans just have the great idea to attack the Soviets for whatever reason. Uh, that plane is going down. Uh, and so the night raids. No, oh, this is Operation Barbarossa. <laughs> is that what they wanted? They wanted vodka the whole time? They wanted a slob squat? They wanted all the German, or sorry, all the Russian things. They want, wait, does the doge actually have the skinny mustache too? Yeah, he does. I didn't even realize that. It kind of blends in with his whole face. All right, uh, yeah, so there, here they come, Operation Barbarossa, Doge has made a huge mistake because he doesn't realize that Stalin is actually swole Doge. Well, not at first, it's gonna take him a minute. Then they're gonna freeze from the USA. Uh, he's coming in there, everything is going according to plan, comrade. Uh, the hard base is really making it hard for me to stay in. Uh, yeah, Russia is friend, USA, Russia working together. Uh, I love the Slav uh, cultural thing of it. Russia, come to the USA. Wait, what? Russia, come to you. Ah, yeah, Russia, come to the USA. And this is the famous image of the Soviet holding up the flag, uh, marching through Berlin. And yeah, he's, he's, yeah, okay, yeah, he's, there you go. That's basically, basically the gist. Le Austrian painter has arrived. Perfect summary there. This channel's so fantastic. They teach you so much about history. Some of the best edits I've seen. Go subscribe to all these channels. There's a lot to learn from them. Big thanks to my patrons. I have cloned Drew and I'm now training him to fight the imposter doing these subscribe videos. Subscribe to Drew now. John Denver. Australia is I real. Am I am not I a patron. Oh, fat, no normal. Please, Argentinian. Chase Grandpa. Henson. Amateur. Archaeologist. Inquisitor. Jack. 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 Jack.